What is going on, you guys? This is the first official, official video of the summer. And as you could see from the thumbnail, yeah, this technically is a Harry Potter video and a cinema reviews video. And you might have also noticed in the thumbnail that this is my least favorite Harry Potter movie. I decided to do do this review on it and why it's my least favorite to to get it out of the way so I don't have to do it later on. I have a lot to talk about with this movie. Let's get right into it. I really hope you saw the disclaimer, because I'm not repeating it. Anyway, the story. This movie earns its PG-13 rating. I mean, it's got violence, it's got language, like it always has. It has the first on-screen death of the series. And overall... Just seeing the amount of danger that Harry goes through, you really fear for his life, even more so than usual at this point in the story. And he gets his first crush on a girl named Cho Chang. That in the Prisoner of Azkaban book, you actually see her very briefly in one chapter. But in this one, Cho is really underplayed, as well as a couple other characters, but but we'll get to that later. And overall, this story is it's pretty good. There's a lot of twists and turns. And you find out about Death Eaters. You find out about the Unforgivable Curses. You you find out where Harry got his scar. With the characters in this one, Ron and Harry's friendship is put to the test because because of the whole thing with the Goblet of Fire. Ron thinks that Harry just wants the glory. And the thing is, because Harry gets all the attention, and the book goes into detail about this, Ron is always jealous of Harry, no matter what it is. Like, in the scene where they're getting ready for the, for the ball, and Harry comes out with really nice dress robes, and, and Ron has to wear hand-me-downs. At first I thought that was hilarious, but you gotta, you gotta have to feel bad for Ron. And, and obviously with Harry, you really see his self-worth go, just keep going down, down, down. Because, first of all, he doesn't want the glory. He doesn't want to be, he doesn't even want to be famous. And you meet Cedric Dickory, who is the first on-screen death of the series. And there's something I want to say about that character that I have to wait to say it. I have to wait to say it. In this book, Dobby is nowhere to be seen. And his role has been replaced by Neville, which it furthers the story along it furthers his character development along. And... It makes him being a massive badass in the last one all the more satisfying. Because, like, you see him help out. Like, beforehand. Another good change that I like is the maze being psychological. and Whereas in the books... There's like stuff like sphinxes, 
gigantic spiders and a whole bunch of other stuff in the maze during the last ta task. And now on to the stuff that I didn't like. The changes I didn't like. Victor Crumb and Cedric Dickory are not explored. Their characters, meh. What you see is what you get. They don't even get enough screen time to develop their character. With Buddy Crouch Jr., I don't like that tongue thing that he did. What is he, a lizard? Keep your tongue in your mouth, you jackass. With Cedric, he's the first on-screen death, death of the series. And by the time he dies, you don't know anything about him. Except maybe he was nice to Harry. And how are you supposed to feel something for this guy that died if you don't even explore his character? It just doesn't make any sense. Another thing about, about this movie that they changed from the books is Dumbledore is always yelling in the chapter where it's revealed that Alistair Moody was really Body Crouch Jr. in disguise. In the book, that's the first and only time you ever see Dumbledore that mad and you, and you see him yell and hear him yell that loud. It even says in the book that Harry understood why Voldemort feared Dumbledore. And this might seem like a nitpick, but when Harry gets him and Ron, like, dates for the ball, he's just like, hey, to the two girls, that's not how you talk to people. You, you say, hey, um, um, excuse me. You might, if you're gonna say hey, you might as well follow it up with an excuse me. And then you say the person's name and you say, sorry to bother you, but, and then, and that's how you do it. I don't know, that's always bugged me. And, oh, Harry is labeled a liar from this movie, especially in the next movie. Because I just don't like bullying. And overall, I really like this film. And even though I have a lot of complaints about it, with every complaint I have about it, I have at least six things six positive things to say about it because obviously I love Harry Potter altogether and I just enjoy this one the least and so thank you all for stopping by hope you enjoyed the review and until next time stay awesome everyone and stay positive see ya